Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all for class 7 subject mathematics. So today we are going to continue with our topic that is comparing quantities. In the previous video you had learned the per percentages. Now here we are going to learn about ratio to percents. Okay, ratio to percentages we have to find. Sometimes parts are given to us in the form of ratios. And we need to convert those to percentage. Now consider here the example what they have given. Rina's mother said to make idlis. You must take two parts rice and one part urad dal. What percentage of such a mixture would be rice and what percentage would be urad dal? They are not saying exactly how much. Okay, we have to say give them. Two parts of rice, one part of urandal is given. So, in terms of ratio, how we will write? We would write that 2 is to 1, right? Rice dal is to, that is rice is to urandal. That is equals to 2 is to 1. Now, how many total parts? Total is 2 plus 1, that is 3 total parts. Now, this means that 2 by 3, 2 upon 3 part is rice and 1 upon 3 part is Uraddal. The percentage, then how to find the percentage? How much percent for 100 grams? How much I should use rice and how much I should use dal there? Okay, for 100 grams, how much I have to put? How many grams I have to use? So, for that what we will do? Just multiply. That is 2 by 3 into 100. 2 by 3 into 100. That will make you 200 by 3. That is 66 by 2 by 3. 3 percentage okay so approximately you have to take 66 grams of rice then what about dal dal will be 1 by 3 into 100 100 by 3 that is 33 1 by 3 percent of dal so if you are adding these two in a properly so approximately you are mixing these two rice plus dal then your those then your idlis will be exactly fine or else it will not be in the proper uh, proper uh, softness or it will not be good so you how much you are taking now that is 66 exactly okay 66.23 like that and 33 percent of that that is an example how we will find the ratio to percentage Increase or decrease as percent. The second thing what we are learning here is whether anything is increase percent or decrease percent. There are times when we need to know the increase or decrease in certain quantity as percentage. For example, if the population of a state increased from 5,50,000 to 6,5,000, then the increase in population can be understood better if we say the population increase by 10% instead of saying lakhs and all if I say 10% of population is increased then it will be better to understand right. So here also anything to increase or decrease we will change it into percentage that how to do the percentage changing of increase or decrease into percentage that you are learning here. Now see the example 16. A school team won 6 games this year against 4 games won last year. Okay. So last year they won only 4 games. This year they have won 6 games. What is the increase here? You know it is increase. Now they are asking what is the percent of increase. So how many percent does the school team has increased? So the increase in number of win or amount of changes first we have to find the change here what is the change taken before what was there and what is happening now that is 6 minus 4 that is 2 what is the difference here they have got 2 extra games here what is the formula now percentage increase is equals to amount of change the difference divided by original amount original amount or base the first one what was there that we are going to take here the change we will take then divided by the original into 100 that is nothing but what is the increase in the number of wins by original number of wins 
that is 2 by 4 into 100. 4 ones are then 4 25 times. 2 into 25 makes 50 percent. 50 percent of increase has been done in the team. That is how we will say it has improved. The team has improved 50 percent from the last year. Not only there the percentage, uses of percentage also can be seen in profit and loss also. How much profit of percent is taken or loss percent is taken. You learnt what is profit and loss, right? Now here you are learning how to find the profit percent and loss percent. What about the discount? We love to take discounts, right? If they say 5% of discount, you should know how much they are going to deduct the money there. That is how we should know. Here you are learning how to find the discount percent, then tax percent also. Now, for example, to buy anything, they will say VAT. VAT is a tax, right? 3% of VAT you have to pay. For example, if it is 3000, you have to pay 3% of tax means you should know how much money will be extra there. How much I have to pay extra? That also you will learn here. Then simple interest and compound interest. Percentage on simple interest and compound interest. Whenever you go to a bank or to any like um, when we are keeping anything like mortgage or something, they will say so much of interest you have to pay. So, for example, in the bank, if I am keeping uh, 100 rupees, they say 1% 1, uh, in 1 percent interest will be given or 2% interest per year. So, for that 100, how many means it is 1 rupee? If it is for 1 lakh, how much you should know there? How much more money you are getting as interest? That you have to calculate or when we have to give someone also we will say so much interest you have to pay for the bank. That and all you are learning here. Before learning that now you should know what is cost price. Cost price means the price from which we buy. Yes or no? We buy is the cost price. Then selling price SP that is nothing but what it is sold. What it is bought is cost price sold is selling price. Then what is this mark price? They will just mark. Means mark means you know how much we want we can mark. Then they will sell. After marking they sell different way. But they will say it is they will be marking for 1000 rupees there. Then they will say it is like you can buy it for 800. Now what is the selling price? Selling price is 800. But mark price was 1000 rupees. Same way list price is also same. This you have seen commonly right? Mac maximum retail price MRP on each packet whatever you buy let it be biscuits, chocolates or whatever this will be given. Sometimes this price only the seller will use or in some time they will give in wholesales they will not use this price. They will give it for lesser price. So to find out all those things we have few formulas here. Now for this you have to just this is all similar only but first thing what you have to do is you should keep in mind whether the selling price is more or the cost price is more. Okay. If the selling price is more than the cost price what happens we will get the profit. Right. If a selling that is if a person is selling for more then he is getting profit. So what happens profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. In your lower classes all this you have learned. Again you are learning here. Okay. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Then what is profit percent? Profit percent is equal to profit by cost price into 100. What is cost price? The price which they have bought is the cost price into 100. Then selling price. If they have asking selling price means 100 plus profit percent into cost price by 100. Okay. This formula so you have to remember. Then cost price that is equal to selling price into 100 divided by 100 plus profit percent. This if you learn the bio, if you memorize these formulas it will be very easier for you to solve the problems. If for what it is if the selling price is more than the cost price. Now the second main if the cost price is more, what happened? He will get the profit? No. He, will, he is getting loss. Yes or no? 
he will get loss. Then how much loss? How to find? Loss is equals to cost price minus selling price. Then loss percent. Loss percent is equals to loss into hundred by cost price. Both you can see even in the profit percent, even in the loss percent. What is the ask there? That is the cost price divided by cost price. You can say just uh, see both the side and you can remember easily. Okay. Then selling price is equals to hundred minus loss percent by hundred into cost price. Again here you compare what is change. Here it is profit, therefore plus profit percent. Here it is loss, therefore minus loss percent. Are you getting? So profit is plus, loss is minus. So profit percent, loss percent. Then next is cost price. Cost price is equal to selling and uh, selling price into hundred divided by hundred minus loss price. Even here you can compare this. This is profit will come plus. Then loss will go for the minus percent. The then in the third one, if they are saying marked price, they have not given cost price here. The third main is the marked price is given. They have not given the cost price. Mark price is greater than the selling price. Obviously, it will be more only. Then what they will give? Then discount will be there. What they will be giving? Discount. So discount is equal. So how much discount we are getting? So mark price minus selling price. Okay, that will be the discount. Discount percentage that is discount into hundred divided by marked price. How much they have marked? That one will come. Then selling price. If you have to find the selling price, hundred minus discount percent into mark price divided by hundred. Then if you have to find mark price, mark price is equal to selling price into hundred divided by hundred minus discount percent. So all these formulas you have to memorize thoroughly to solve the problems. Once you memorize this, it will be very easier for you to. solve the problems